Good day, my dear student. This is teacher Riza. Our topic for today is representations of exponential functions. With learning competency, the learner is able to represent an exponential function through its table of values, graph, and equation. Let's start to discuss representation of exponential functions through table of values. So we have here a table of values. We're going to determine if this table of values is an exponential function or not. Now, what can you observe from the table of values of y or the range? From 0 0.25, we have the value of y is 0 0.5. From 0 0.5, we have 1. Yes, we multiply 0 0.25 by 2. So 0 0.25 times 2 is equal to 0 0.5. And 0 0.5 times 2 is equal to 1. And 1 times 2 is equal to 2. And 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Or, by working backward, we have 4 times 0 0.5 is equal to 2. And 2 times 0 0.5 is equal to 1. And 1 times 0 0.5 is equal to 0 0.5. And 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 is equal to 0 0.25. So therefore, it has a common factor of 0 0.5 or 1 half. Now, let's try to represent the function y is equal to 2 raised to x minus 3. If x is equal to negative 2, so y is equal to 2 raised to change x by negative 2 minus 3 is equal to 2 raised to negative 5, applying laws of exponent. For negative exponent, to make it positive, we're going to get the reciprocal, which is 1 over 2 raised to 5, or 1 over 32, which is equal to 0 0.03. If x is equal to negative 1, so we have y is equal to 2 raised to negative 1 minus 3, which is 2 raised to negative 4, or 1 over 2 raised to 4, which is equal to 1 over 16 or 0 0.06. If x is equal to 0, y is equal to 2 raised to 0 minus 3, or y is equal to 2 raised to negative 3, or 1 over 2 cubed, which is equal to 1 over 8, which is equal to 0 0.12. If x is equal to positive 1, y is equal to 2, raised to 1 minus 3, where in y is equal to 2 raised to negative 2, and that's equal to 1 over 2 squared or 1 fourth, which is equal to 0 0.25. So we have here the table of values. If x is negative 2, y is 1 over 32 or 0 0.03. If x is negative 1, y is equal to 1 over 16, which is equal to 0 0.06. If x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1 over 8, which is equal to 0 0.12. And if x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1 fourth or 0 0.25. Now, to get for 1 over 16, we multiply 1 over 32 by 2. So that's equal to 2 over 32 or equal to 1 over 16. Then multiplying 1 over 16 by 2, so we have 2 over 16 or 1 8. Then multiply by 2, so we have 1 8 times 2 is equal to 2 over 8 or is equal to 1 4. Or we can work backward, multiplying 1 fourth by 1 half is equal to 1 8. And 1 8 times 1 half is equal to 1 over 16. And 1 over 16 times 1 half is equal to 1 over 32. So it has a common factor of 1 half or 0 
So therefore, it represents an exponential function. To represent an exponential function through a table of values, it should have a common factor in the values of y or range. Next, representation of exponential function through graph. Since we have already the table obtained a while ago, so we're now going to plot the points in a Cartesian plane. First order pair, we have negative 2 and 1 over 32. Then we have negative 1 and 1 over 16. Then next, we have 0 and 1 eighth. Then we have 1 and 1 fourth. So connecting the points, so we have the graph. So the graph is increasing from left to right. Remember that the function is y is equal to 2 raised to x minus 3. And the base here is 2, which is greater than 1. Now, let's try to analyze this scenario. During type of Ulysses, CCNHS with 2,700 population in the senior high school, including the teaching and non-teaching staff, want to know if classes are suspended. The school principal sends a text message to the assistant principal and to the coordinators. These two members sends the text message to two other members of the community and so on. So if we're going to illustrate that scenario, we have here from the principal sends the message to two and each send also the message to two person and so on. So putting them into table, so we have here the stage of texting and the members in form. At the beginning, zero, we have one. And this one takes two members. From two to four members, then stage three, so there are already eight members in form. What about for stage four? How many members will be in form? Yes, it's 16. How do you get 16? Yes, multiplying. 8 by 2. So therefore, 8 times 2 is 16. What about on the fifth stage? Again, multiplying 16 by 2, we have 32. So if we're going to continue the table, so we have now for 6, multiplying 32 by 2, we have 64. For the seventh stage, multiplying 64 by 2, we have 128. Times 2, we have 256 times 2 again, we have 512, times 2, we have 1024, and multiplying the 2 again, we have 2048. So maybe in the 12th stage, all the members of the National High School students and faculty already received the text. So from here, we're going now to make an equation. So if we let y as the members in form and x the stages in testing texting and since the members double or will multiply by 2 our equation will be y is equal to 2 raised to x or function of x is equal to 2 raised to x where x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable. So let's try now to sketch the graph of function of x is equal to 2 raised to x. If we let x equal to negative 4, we have now 2 raised to negative 4 which is equal to 1 over 2 4. 2 raised to 4 is equal to 1 over 16. And if x is equal to negative 3, 2 raised to negative 3 is equal to 1 over 2 cubed, which is equal to 1 8. Then to get function of negative 2, that's equal to 2 raised to negative 2, which is equal to 1 over 2 raised to 2, which is equal to 1 fourth. If x is equal to negative 1, 2 raised to negative 1 is equal to 1 half. And function of 0, 
is equal to 1. And if x is equal to 1, 2 raised to 1 is equal to 10. So we have now the table of values. Now, let's try to plot the points in the partition plane. So first order pair, we have negative 4 and 1 over 16. Then we have negative 3 and 1 eighth, negative 2 and 1 fourth, we have negative 1 and 1 half, 0 and 1, then we have 1 and 2, 2 and 4, and 3 and 8. Then after that, we're going now to connect the points. So we have a D graph. D graph is increasing going to the right. Remember that the base here is 2, which is greater than 1. Now, for your activity, you're going to answer your learning activity sheet from exercise 1 to 3. For exercise 1, you're going to identify, which is entitled Identify Me. So you're going to observe the pattern in each of the table of values, then determine whether each table of values represents an exponential function or not. Write exponential function or not an exponential function on the space provided. So we have here the first table of values. And the second table of values. Remember that you're going to find if there is a common factor for the table of values for y or range. And number three, see, observe the table of values of y. For number four, so this is number four. If there's a common factor, then it is a exponential function. But if there's no common factor, then it's not a exponential function. Okay, so for exercises 1, that's number 1 to 5. Next, exercise 2. All my table of values. So what you're going to do, represent the following function through table of values. Note that in implementing the table of values, you need to compute the corresponding y value by substituting the value of x to the equation and simplifying it. Look at the example in computing y values below the table. Input your answer on the table of values. If you already get the pattern of the y values, you can put your answer directly in the table of values. So we have here number 1, that is y is equal to 2 raised to 2x minus 5. Wherein the values of x are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. First one is already computed. If x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 0.03125. And the next table with an equation of y is equal to 1 half raised to x minus 2. Remember that the base here is less than 2 but greater than 0. Where the values of x are 1. Negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Exercise number 2, which is describe me. So you're going to use the table below as your basis in answering the questions. So we have here the graph for the letter A with an equation of f of x is equal to 2 raised to x. For B, we have the graph of function of x is equal to 1 half raised to x. Remember that the base of a is 2, which is greater than 1. While b, the base is 1 half, which is less than 1, but greater than 0. For letter c, we have the graph of function of x is equal to 4 raised to x minus 1. And b. 
is the graph of function of x is equal to 0 0.75 raised to 2x minus 2, where in point 0 0.75 is less than 1 but greater than 0. And for letter E, the graph of function of x is equal to 3 raised to x plus 1. So in two, 2 to 3 sentences, you're going to compare the graph of an exponential function with a base greater than 1 and that of an exponential function whose base is greater than 0 but less than 1. For exercise number 3, you're going to show my curves. So direction. So here is the direction. Each of the table of values below represents an exponential function. So sketch the graph of each function. So we have already the table of values. So what you're going to do is just plot the points then sketch the graph. Okay, for number two. So we have also the table of values. Plot the point and then sketch the graph. For exercise number three, my representation of exponential functions. So you're going to read and analyze and carefully answer each of the following problem. So represent the exponential model for the number of daily COVID-19 and then make the table of values that you're going to draw a graph and that's all for today's lesson my dear student but before we end this video lesson let me share this quotation we cannot stop natural disasters but we can arm ourselves with knowledge so many lives wouldn't have to be lost if there was enough disaster preparedness. That is according to Petra Lemkova. And according to C.S. Lewis, you can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. So again, this is Teacher Reza saying, stay safe always. Till our next video lesson again. Goodbye.